Hi guys, it's your boy Alvin Kenneth. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are yet to subscribe, what are you really waiting for? So yeah, and we also have three new subscribers to the channel, which is very good news. I finally. So yeah, I know it's very small, but we, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys for subscribing. So I want to talk about um, Facebook and no, I want to talk about pixels. So running pixels or using pixels when you run your adverts. And I'm still trying to reach 10 minutes, so you guys should give me scoops on how I can make this video last longer. Because I feel like I'm not sharing enough, you know? Like, we need to share more stuff. I don't know how many of you are trying to run ads on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, basically on social media, and you feel like it's not compatible, like the ads, you're spending this lot of money, and where where is it going to right like you spend hundreds of dollars and you get like how many clicks 80 something clicks right or people are not buying the products you are selling so what what are the right strategies should you implement to make um this campaign act well like behave well like you send it to school let it behave well you get so the basic step most of the time is that people just use basic ad formats what I mean by that is you're basically using the ad format that this platform have set up for you to make it easy. So you're neglecting the fact that that those formats that you see that every user has or is available to every user is an easy setup. And it's basically just out there to like, okay, we know that if we give it the advanced thing that will help you. You guys will complain that this thing is not simple enough. So let's give you something simple and we get our money. You get the satisfaction that you're running the ad. And we get a satisfaction that we're being paid for something everybody wins right but not really everybody wins the platform wins but you kind of like win halfway so the best way to run or the best step in running um, an ad a convert well would be to have a pixel connected to your website so this is for people that have a website so pixel is a very small code that platforms like facebook twitter give um, to their audience or their customers to put on their website so that anytime they run an ad it's being tracked so for example now if someone goes to the website and click on the um, let's see email list that you have set up on your website it will probably tell you that if someone goes to your carts on your website and fills their carts but they don't make an order it's going to show you that. So when you run a campaign and say, okay, I want this campaign to target this function. I want to target people that, okay, click the ad, then go to the website and put something in their cart and check out, right? Now the ad will only charge you or the platform will only charge you when someone executes the specific tax um, situated on that ad. I don't know if that's making sense. So you're only you're only going to pay for when someone clicks the website, goes to the um, cards and checks out. If they don't check out, you're not going. To, um, um, Facebook is not going to charge you for running that campaign. I don't know if I'm making sense now. So that's why I see people sometimes say, "Okay, I ran an ad for one dollar, and per click was like zero point zero 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 one." You get, because it's very hard to find. Um, not really hard, it's just that the ad is very detailed. So, in essence, you're getting real value for your money. So, that is like the basic foundation when you want to run an ad. And again, for when it comes to running Google Ads, they also have something called remarketing. So, your remarketing tag is being given to you, and you can also implement that on your website. And this is how you keep track of conversion. So, it tells you, oh, you run this ad, and it had a 10% um, conversion rate. Then something that some people like doing on Facebook is that they run two campaigns and they run two ads for one campaign. What does that mean? So first of all, let's say you want to sell something on Facebook. You can start by doing an ad for increasing like and awareness. Then you now run the second ad for conversion, right? You can't start running conversion when people don't know the stuff that is going on there. So you can only run a conversion ad when either the post is popular or you're running an ad to increase the popularity of that post. Because the more people that see, the more um, chances you get conf um, conversion, your conversion rates to go up. I don't know if this is making sense. 
But if it doesn't, leave a comment and I'll come to explain again. Yeah, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye, guys.